Hello. Uh, now, uh, Remy uh, will present us uh, Lava Federated Testing. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. So, yes, I, I said I will today present Lava Federated Testing. So, the first thing to, to explain is what Lava is, because I guess you don't know what, what it is. So, Lava stands for Linaro Automated Validation Architecture. It's a CI system, so it's, uh, the goal of it is to test uh, your software on specific hardware, like Raspberry Pi, Juno, Pandaboard, or things like that. So uh, you take your, in, for instance, you compile Linux and you want to test it, or you have some, your software that you want to test on real hardware. So Lava will help you to deploy the software on the hardware, boot the hardware, and then run the test. It's uh, more or less becoming the de facto standard uh, for a CI system on real hardware. So just to explain a bit more uh, what it will do for you, uh, if you want to test uh, on a Raspberry Pi but without Lava, what you will usually do is to uh, you first power on the board, so using the power controller. Uh, then you connect to the serial. If you have a serial relay, you will just do telnet something. And then you will see uh, your boot starting, with, uh, and you will uh, wait for etnk to uh, stop at the boot. You just type enter, and then you type commands like DHCP, set server IP. You load uh, kernel DTB from TFTP into the, the RAM, and then you set the boot target and you boot. So you will look roughly for, for the kernel output to see if everything's going correctly. And uh, you go to prompt, you log in, and then you run the test, and you power off the board. That's all the things that you have to do manually if you want to run tests on a physical hardware. If you want to use Lava to do that, uh, then instead of typing everything manually, you describe what you want to do in a job definition. I will explain a bit more later on what you put inside it. You put the information like uh, the kernel, the TBD, rootfs you want to test inside this job definition. You give that to Lava Dispatcher. So Lava Dispatcher is the part of Lava, Lava which is responsible for uh, booting and deploying booting the boards directly, really connecting to the board and handling the, the board things. And you give the job configuration to Lava, and it will just do everything as you, say, as you did, as I explained before, but automatically. You can take a, a, grab a coffee and do something else, and go back and just look at the results. Lava will do everything for you. Uh, Obviously, you can do that at a larger scale, not only with one board on a dispatcher, but five, ten boards on one dispatcher, having many, many dispatchers all connected to the same server. So you can have 100 boards on the, in the same system. All the users will uh, talk directly to the server, to Lava server, and they will submit jobs, get results, and see what's happening. So with that, you can have many, many jobs running in parallel. You don't have to care about it. Everything will do be done automatically for you. So for instance, you can, you can want to test uh, your Linux kernel in, on Pandaboard, BeagleBone, uh, Raspberry Pi, all at the same time. You just submit three different jobs, and Lava will do that for you. Um, as I said, for a user, on a user perspective, when you use Lava, you write down your job definition, and then you submit it. You see, just with the command line, you use Lava CLI, job submit, job definition, and that's done. You don't have to do anything else. You can do some more interesting work. Uh, in the job definition itself, what you will put usually is just some, some more important things that you can use. There is more things to, to describe, obviously, but it's, it's too large for the screen. Um, so usually which you will describe the device type you want to address. So you will not say, I want this specific device which is in the lab, not Raspberry Pi 01 or 05. I want a Raspberry Pi 3B and Lava will pick up the right, the, the board which is matching this device type and available at the same time. Uh, you will point to the kernel DTB rootfs you want to deploy. It's a URL, so it has to be available somewhere, and Lava will fetch it for you. Um, some interesting features that are not mandatory, but you can use it, is auto-login, for instance. So if you have to type a username and password, Lava will do it for you. You just have to provide the username and password, obviously. And then the tests uh, that you want to run, um, Usually, it's uh, inside a Git repository, so it's, uh, you have versions of your test. That Lava will record the version along with the results. And uh, we already provide, as that address, uh, many wrappers around um, well-known uh, test suite like LTP, KSL test, uh, Android test suite, things like that. Uh, on, for the admin perspective, um, the server will do all the web UI 
So uh, you, will, you will submit jobs manually or, or you through the API. You will see the results, the logs that has been passed. Uh, it will do the access control for you. So who is able to access a board, who is not? Uh, some boards might be private. If there, are, uh, if there is NDAs and it's a public server, you might want to hide some, uh, some boards from public uh, access. Uh, we'll do the scheduling with priorities and things like that. We can even do multi-node jobs, which is one, device conf one, uh, device, uh, uh, one job definition sorry, that is using more than one devices. For instance, you want to test uh, a streaming uh, uh, pr uh, program like VLC. Uh, you will have uh, two boards. One will be the server and one will be cl the clients. And it will be all th in the same job definition. Um, on the dispatcher side, we'll, um, the dispatcher, which is connected directly to a board, will regularly check that the board is uh, having a good health. So, in if, so it will uh, run some specific jobs to see that if the, wor the board is uh, working correctly or not. And if it's not the case, the board will be put in maintenance and admin will be notified that they have to look at it. Um, when the board is booting, we will pass automatically the, the kernel output to see if there is a kernel panic. In this case, we will report it and stop the jobs or boot all errors, and we'll try to classify uh, why there was an error. Like if it's an infrastructure error, error like in this case, it's a TFTP uh, which is not responding correctly. This is not the test which has an issue. It's a, the infra error directly. So it has to be reported to the users. Uh, same if it's a bug, we, we will try to report it. So user can just say, it's not my problem. It's Lava issue, not mine. Um, we do support a lot of different methods for deploying, booting, and testing. I will not explain everything. And we do support a lot of different boards. This is the actual list of supported boards uh, from uh, before Friday, because fr Friday we did one more. It's not listed here. So that's a lot of different boards. And as Lava is a testing software, we have to prove that it's working. So we have to test it. It's, 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 be, it's a bit different, uh, strange if we provide a, a test software which is not tested correctly. We have to do it, to do that correctly. So ever we are really lazy and rich, and we just buy 142 different boards and build, build a really big lab, or we are not, and we have to be smart. Obviously, if I'm here, that's because I prefer to be smart and to do some fun stuff. That's why we created LavaFed. So LavaFed for Lava Federated Testing. So the goal of LavaFed uh, is to prove to people from the community that the, that, what they are, that the next version of Lava will still work the same way it was working before for them. So the goal is to take the Docker build that we do for every commit. Every time sometime you push a commit on Lava, we'll do two Docker containers, one for Lava server and la one for Lava dispatcher. And I want to prove that the, these containers are working correctly. I want to prove that it's working correctly on the board that the community cares about. I'm already testing on the board that my employer is, is caring about. I want, for the same reason, the use case you care about, because my use cases are already tested. And I want LavaFed to be almost only Lava jobs. It's better, I, I'm, I'm developing Lava, it's a testing software, I should be able to test myself with, my, with Lava and uh, with some glue around it, which is building notifications and APIs. Which means that I will always, also test notifications and API at the same time. So two features that you have to understand that, uh, uh, before I explain really how LavaFed is working. The first thing is that uh, we have a, a lot of different device types in Lava, and, one, and we have one specific device type, which is Docker. We can just... Uh, create a job definition in which we will start a Docker container in, on the dispatcher itself. It allows to do some testing uh, quite easily. So instead of connecting to a Raspberry Pi serial connection, we'll just run Docker run and take the output of Docker run and just type com command in the shell that we get. Um, the second thing that we use a lot is notification. Uh, you can ask Lava to, give, to post uh, to a specific URL, so it's a callback. Uh, when the job is finished or cancelled. So we can get results, logs, everything um, quite easily. So let's finally speak about LavaFed. Um, so we use GitLab for our own for our CI. So every morning, around 4 in the morning, if I remember correctly, uh, GitLab will start a container. It will keep the last version of Lava Server container, which is available. 
So this is uh, from the beginning of this, uh, this week. Uh, you will see the full version here. Uh, it will start it. This will be a, it's a Lava server, so it's, and it will be the Lava Fed server, which is available from a, everywhere. Uh, in blue, you will see, you see uh, a community lab. Someone in the community is, uh, is OK to share a lab with us. And uh, the server is available from ev everywhere. And the, la the dispatcher is in their private lab, so it's not accessible from outside. And they do have a Raspberry Pi connected to it. So the first thing LavaFed is doing is asking, asking for the version of LavaFed server. So I, we, are on, on the same, we are testing the same containers, same versions. And it will submit a Lava job. As I said, we can submit to a specific device type, which is a Docker container. So we are submitting to a Lava lab server. We're sum submitting a Docker job, which is, in fact, a, a Lava dispatcher. So in their dispatcher, they will run my own dispatcher in the Docker container. And this dispatcher is, is configured to connect to my server. So I'm kind of hacking a bit their own dispatcher. So I'm sitting in, in their network, in their own dispatcher, connecting back to my server. And then I'm uh, asking for the configuration. I'm asking the Lab1 server, can I ask, have your configuration for the, uh, the Raspberry Pi? And I'm copying everything on my own server. So I know how to config to use their boards with my dispatcher connecting in their network. And I, put, uh, I ask the lab, lab server to say, now the board is, not, uh, is uh, offline for, for you. You should not use it. And my LavaFed server will now see the board available and will use it. So I submit jobs on my server, and it will run using my dispatcher on their board. And I will get, when it's finished, I will get results in my own servers. So I will be able to do some graphics. And obviously, when it's finished, I will do the reverse and give them back their own board and cancel my, my jobs. So what's next? Uh, currently, we, we started small. We have only three labs and five devices, which is not much. And only running five jobs a day, I understand it's not much. But we are adding new device types. Uh, as you can see, when I'm adding a new device type, it's just failing, usually. So I'm fixing it and then adding another device type a bit later on. And we want to have new jobs, uh, all the function and tests to run inside, uh, inside of a Fed. So obviously, the next step uh, is Lava Federated. So the goal is to, to share the board with the community, to test together. So I need people that are already using Lava or want to use Lava to just come to talk to us and uh, try to work together to be able to test the board you care about and the job you care about. So please. Send me a mail if you're interested, or just go to the website to see what we are doing with LavaFed. Thanks. <laughs>